hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding server action in Udo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Udo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Udo 15 development tutorial so in this video we will be discussing about the point server action in Udo. so we will be discussing about what is the use case of server action and how we can create a server action from the UI as well as from the code. So in the screen, I have filtered those appointments in, in consultation state and you can see we have got around four appointments in, in consultation state. Now the next stage where we have to move this appointment is we have to either cancel this appointment or we have to mark it as done. Let's imagine where we have such an appointment for around hundred or thousand appointments and we have to mark all those appointments into done state now as of now what we can do is that we have to manually mark one by one as done so it's a bit lengthy process if we have a lot of records so what we will be doing is that we will be adding a new option inside the action button so here you can see upon selecting the records if I select these records, you can see an action button is getting visible over here and I'll be adding a option inside the action button named mark as done and on clicking that the appointments will be moved to done state. So let's see how we can achieve that in Udo. So first of all, I'll be showing how we can do the same from the UI and I'll show how we can do the same from the code. So I'll duplicate this tab and i will navigate to settings then to the technical and if i scroll down under the actions you can see we have got a menu called server action so simply i'll click on that and i'll create a new server action and i'll give the action name as mark as done mark as done and i'll specify the model so here you can see the model that we need the server action is hospital.appointment so i'll search for appointment and here you can see hospital.appointment and in the action to do i'll select execute python code so the action to do is python code and i'll remove this thing from here and i'll write a couple of code here for record in records i'll write some code here then record.action done i'll simply write a couple of lines here and i'll click on save so what we have done is we have created a server action from the ui and i have written a couple of lines of the code and if you refresh and if you select one record and if you click on action button still there is nothing so if you click on create contextual action so here you can see we have a button create contextual action and if you refresh here you can see you have got a new option called mark as done so let me filter the in consultation records again so i'll filter status status is in consultation apply and if i select all those records and if i click on mark as done you can see all the records has been moved to done state so this is the working of server action in Odoo. So now we have added from the UI. So I'll remove that action and I'll delete it from the UI. Now what I'll do, we'll be doing the same thing from the code. So let's see how we can do it from the code side. So what I'll do is that I'll go to the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons where the OM hospital module is locating. So what I'll do, I'll go to the views folder and to the appointment view.xml file. So I'll create the server action inside this appointment view.xml file so let me search for a sample inside the Odoo source code so this is my Odoo source code and i'll click on find in path and i'll search for ir.actions server ir.actions server and i'll search inside the xml code so here you can see current filter is python i'll change it to xml and if you check you will see a lot of sample can see a sample so simply i'll copy this sample model ir.action server so i'll copy that and i'll put it inside appointment view.xml file and i'll adjust the integration now what we have to do we have to modify this file as per our need so first of all we have to change the id so i'll change the id as action 
mark as done i'll name it as action mark as done model should be ir dot action server because we have to create a record inside this table ir dot action server so model is specified then give the name so i'll give the name as mark as done mark as done type ir dot action server then model id has to be specified so here we can see we have to add the server action to hospital dot appointment model so simply copy the mo model name hospital dot appointment then here you have to specify your model name so the syntax is model underscore model name model underscore hospital dot appointment so i have given the corresponding model then in the binding model also i'll specify the same model so model id has been specified binding model id has been specified then state equal to code you have to set state equal to code in order to execute python function so if you come to the ui and if you try to create a new server action here you can see a field called action to do and you can see its technical name is state and if you check the selection code code is responsible to execute python code you can see in the pop-up code execute python code so what i have done is state as code then what we can do we can write the code here what python code has to be executed so i'll write a couple of codes here for record in records if record dot state i'll explain this code if record dot state equal to in consultation in consultation record dot action done so simply have written a code like this for record in records so inside the record variables if i come to the tree view and if i select a couple of records here you can see i have selected three records i'll be receiving its id inside records variable so all the three id that is all the selected ids will be receiving inside records variable so i am iterating it over a for loop then i'll check whether the record state is in consultation if yes i'll execute a record dot action done so if you check a record dot action done so find in path action done inside python code you can see action done it will move the record to done state so simply i have executed a three lines of code now what we will be doing we'll be restarting the service and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so if i go to the ui currently you can see you have markers done so let me refresh maybe i have already removed that so if i select three records and action you can see we don't have the option currently if you go to server action and if you search for mark as done currently you don't have mark as done option now what i'll do simply go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if i come to settings then to the technical and server action and if you search for mark as done you can see the option has been added name is coming model is hospital dot appointment action to do execute python code and you can see the code that we have entered is appearing over here and if you check here if you refresh you can see the mark as done option has been added into the action button so if you go to the form view also you can see this mark as done so this is how we can add server action in Odoo. so let me create a couple of appointments for orange dr joel wills save and i'll move to in consultation so we have one record so let me duplicate this duplicate and i'll change patient to pineapple in consultation duplicate i'll change patient to dragon in consultation so if we come to the tree view here you can see we have got three appointments in in consultation state and if it has to move to done state simply we can click on mark as done and it will be moved to done state so this is how we can add server action in odoo so if you come to the odoo source code again so i'll navigate to odoo source code ir dot action server if i search for ir dot actions server and if i search inside the xml so let me check for some other samples find in path 
let me check some other samples production server and here you can see we have got one option called binding view types so simply i'll copy this binding view types and i will put it here binding view types that is we have to specify in which all views we have to show this option so i have simply added this here and if you go to the ui currently you can see those option is visible in the tree view as well as if you navigate to form view you will have this option so let's see how we can limit that only to visible only in tree view because inside the form view we already have a markers done button here so if i create a new appointment and if i move to in consultation state we already have a mark as done button over here then it is not necessary to show over here so we need to show this only inside the tree view so in order to do that you can set field name binding view types equal to list that is we need to show this only in list view so let me go to the ui and let me upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll click on upgrade so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if you come back to the appointments and if you open any of the appointment and if you click on action button you can see markers done button is not visible inside the form view and currently it's only visible in list view so if you need to specify multiple views you can put list comma form but currently we need only in list view so we will be keeping as it is so this is how we can add a server action in odoo that is how to add an action inside action button in odoo so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you